Well, we're talking about the emotive subject of abortion. Uh, Liz Parsons is joining us now from the UK, obviously on the Isle of Man earlier this week. Uh, Scheduling-wise, I, I couldn't make that meeting. But you, you came over with, with, the, with Life UK and, uh, well, you were talking to MHKs, um, giving your side of the views. And, of course, outside, even to start with, you had the other side, uh, the handmaidens uh, sh doing their, their silent uh, uh, way of showing their, 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 their ideas. But anyway, I, I really want to get down to how it went, first of all, with the Timwell members, MHKs. Uh, you made a presentation, right? And, and what did you say exactly? Um, we talked about a number of different issues. Uh, Professor Casey had been invited over and she was talking about the emotional and psychological impact of abortion on women. And I was there to talk about our experience and, and the, with human rights to do with the unborn baby in the womb. You, you kind of um, gave, I think, quite a graphic description in some, play, some, some cases of, 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 you know, things that have gone wrong. There's obviously going to be always going to be those some some things that aren't good in this sort of case. But um, I, I believe it's been a massive consultation on the Isle of Man with over 3000 responses. And I think over 70 percent were in favour of changes. What, you, what's your views on that? Yeah, I think I think it's very difficult sometimes with polls and 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 with questionnaires like that in that a lot of the questions were very directive in that they were asking specifically, do you think a woman should have the choice to have an abortion? It wasn't necessarily as open as certainly I would have liked in that it, it didn't say in this situation, what do you think would be best for the woman? Or, you know, what are the, what support do you think she would, she would avail under these particular circumstances? So, you know, I was, I was a little bit worried that the questionnaire was quite directive in its approach, but also, if you don't have both sides of the debate, if you don't have an equal balance to these points of views and you're only hearing one particular side of the debate, you're much more likely to be swayed in that direction. So, yeah, but people are always going to say that, aren't they? Because you, you, you didn't get the right answer. You, you don't like the results of that poll, surely. That's how it comes out. Well, you know, I mean, even even if that is the honest opinion of, of people who, who actually took part in the poll, you know, that's great that people felt able to take part and respond and that's, that's wonderful. It just it still doesn't necessarily mean that there shouldn't be more education, certainly from the pro-life side. I think that is something that has been lacking to some extent up until now on the Isle of Man, that we hear a lot from one particular point of view, but maybe not enough from the other side. But you've come across from the United Kingdom to tell another sort of jurisdiction about this. I mean, why can't we fight our own battles here, you know, if, if there is that support? I mean, you've got members here on the Isle of Man, I know, but... You know, why do you, you have to send the big guns in, if you like, to, to do this? Quite flattered to be considered to be a big gun. Thank you. Um, it, it's certainly it's certainly not about imposing it on anything. As you say, we were invited over to come over by local people, by a local a local group, Life Isle of Man, who wants to present a more balanced view. There's a lot of experience that we have in the UK that maybe you guys don't have, in that we do have a, a rather liberalised law on abortion. We know a lot of the impact that it can have, and as a caring pro-life charity, we support a lot of people who go through unplanned or unexpected pregnancies, as well as those people being affected by an abortion. And certainly Professor Casey you know, has, a, has a huge background in psychiatry and mental health. So... I don't see that there's anything wrong in inviting people who have a lot of experience on this issue to come over and, and share this information. Let's be absolutely clear. What exactly do you want? Do you want the Isle of Man to keep what it's got or do you want it to be more based on UK law as it stands at the moment or Northern Ireland? You know, where do you want it to go? Well, I think what maybe not everybody realises is that you actually have quite a middle-of-the-road law already. Um, when you compare it to other areas of this part of the world, you do kind of sit in between a lot of jurisdictions. So you don't particularly have, um, you know, a very stringent law in comparison to your neighbours. What the new proposed legislation would do would actually give you some of the most extreme legislation and liberalisation on abortion it's certainly, certainly seen in this part of the world, even maybe in comparison to the UK. Let's be, let's be very clear. You, you don't want any abortions, do you? I mean, you're talking about, and it's very sensitive, but it could be incest, it could be rape. You're, yeah. you're saying that the, the, the mother, the, the, the woman carrying that baby has no choice but to go through and have that baby. We're, we're certainly not saying, not saying that she has no choice. In fact, the... the uh, skilled listening and counselling services that we use at LIFE are um, non-directive. 
We don't tell anybody what to do. We provide a safe space, um, a bit of time for them to talk through their concerns, to talk through their problems. If they still go for an abortion at the end of the day, they can always come back to us afterwards. We're there for them no matter what. But we also know that a lot of people in this situation very much feel like they have no choice. It's I know a lot of people talk about a woman choosing an abortion, but certainly of the clients that we see and, and that we help every day, most of them say, I felt like I couldn't do anything else. So at the very least, what life provides is real help, real alternatives. Have you got a personal reason for this? I mean, being so c campaigning on the, this issue? Or, I mean, was it religious grounds you, you're on? I mean, where do you come from this yourself? Yeah, no, I actually, life isn't a religious charity. So that's, that's not my motivation for this. I mean, ultimately, I as a number of us do, we, we know people who've been through similar experiences or we've actually been through it ourselves. And I shared a story with the MHKs the other day about my niece who, um, when my sister was pregnant, she was diagnosed with some very serious problems with her legs, as in um, she had rocker bottom feet. She, her feet were turned out basically facing the wrong direction. Um, her hips were dislocated and she didn't have much muscle strength in her legs at all. And around about 26 weeks, my sister was offered an abortion. And as a family, knowing what that feels like, it, it's such an extreme thing to go through because you're literally told in this same very short appointment, right, your baby's got all of these problems. We don't know if we're going to be able to help her to walk. Would you like to organize an abortion? You know, how do you expect anyone to even know how they feel at that particular point? Never mind make it make a huge decision like that. And what 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 she was basically told was, you know, if you if you come back in three weeks, we'll scan you again. Uh, if not, and you decide you want an appointment for an abortion in the meantime, then by all means, we'll book you in. Now, you know, my sister, luckily, she has a lot of support. You know, we're a very close family and, and we talked about it a lot and we, we, you know, got some information on her particular um, condition and ultimately she really just wanted the baby. So she carried on with the pregnancy and eventually um, at the next scan, baby was moving her legs a little bit more and doctor got a better view. And so then basically said, no, do you know, I think there are some things we can do to help. So now you start to hear like things, things to do with physiotherapy or successful operations okay. or yes, it's okay. great help. I, I, I tell you this, but you know, you're the one case and it's, it's a great news for you. But I mean, this is a doctor here who's taking this through the house of Keys and Timmel, of course. I mean, this is a doctor who, you know, must have, must have his views from generally knowing what's going on with his patients. We're not agreed it's a big force to deal with here that this is a, you know, a, a man who works in this profession. Yeah, but we also know that a number of doctors don't want don't want a change in the law and there are a number of doctors who have a conscientious objection to taking part in, in abortion procedures. So yes, it's a doctor who's spearheading it, but there are a number of doctors and medical staff who would also be against it. Okay, at the minute, People from the Isle of Man have to travel to the UK, as probably people yes. from Northern Ireland and all that sort of thing. Would you, would you disagree that, that should be happening? Because the Manx law, they, they can't do it here. So if they did it on the Isle of Man, they would be breaking the law. Therefore, they'd be criminals. Yeah, but let's remember that the numbers traveling to the UK at the moment, we have, I think last year it was 88 women who traveled to the to the UK from the Isle of Man in order to, to obtain an abortion. Those figures have steadily gone down since 2002. There isn't increasing numbers of women trying to come across to obtain an abortion. So it you would really wonder whether there is an increasing number of women who want a change in the law. Well, they just whether, back to the survey. The survey was saying yes. I know you're going to say the questions again are wrong, but I mean, it's a massive yeah. response rate. Well, Do you not think 3,000 responses? But for the Isle of Man, it's big. Yeah, I mean, there was certainly a decent level of response, but there were a number of, of other organisations as well that responded. Um, Life in particular wasn't mentioned for some reason at the end of at the end of, um, at the end of the organisations who'd responded when we actually did. So, okay. Well, I, I put it to you, you know, you may be in the minority and therefore things are going to change. Are you going to do any more campaigning? I mean, and there's another group, by the way, coming over next week to uh, show their views, similar to yours, I understand, as well, outside Timwald. I mean, you know, is this pressure going to mount up? Are you going to have other things planned? Um, I, all I can say is I would ultimately really appeal to, to the MHKs to send this to a committee. It 
this deserves we a all real... Know if that goes to committee, it'll go in the long grass. That's what you're wanting, isn't it? No, it's not that at all. This is such an important topic that it deserves its time, it deserves its debate, and it deserves okay. looking into. Because what... let's not forget, yeah. once you start opening the law on this, you have no idea where it could lead. And we're seeing where it's leading in some cases in, in my, my country. So, what, what was the mood music like with the... Uh, MHKs. I think you had about 12 there, did you? Something like that? 12? I think there were about 15, 17 okay. who, who arrived. Um, it, it was really positive. There were a number of people who obviously had had some very different opinions, but I, I think ultimately, like I said, it was it was responding to a great debate and there were a number of great questions and a number of great comments afterwards. Okay, well, this story continues. Thank you for your time. And as I said, we, another, uh, I'm not sure it's a demonstration, but another presentation outside of uh, the Manx Parliament due on Tuesday. We'll see what that's all about then.